is meant to be the dry season. I don't mind the discomfort if there's a chance of catching fish, but the problem with high water is that those fish are just spread out. But all I can do really is just hope that I do connect with something. Tropical rainstorms like this can last days. Luckily, this is more of a passing shower. As we cover more and more miles, I still have nothing to show for my efforts but that one alien-looking Barbado. So, out of desperation to catch this mysterious Lau Lau, I start fishing with two rods. I don't like doing this because I like to feel my line at all times, but at least now there's an increased chance of a pickup. This is one monster I wasn't expecting here, but this is a good sized Bayara or vampire fish. Those fangs there in the upper jaw, they're so long that they actually recess into holes inside the upper jaw. Bayara use those teeth to puncture the swim bladders of their fishy prey. But now I'm reminded of a drawback to using two rods. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Going back, going back, going back. Whatever it is, it's ripping off line. Could it be the mysterious Lau Lau? Huh? And that's a red-tailed catfish. They call it a banana catfish here, I think because of the uh, banana-like colour. These grow over 100 pounds, and they've got this monstrous huge head that's almost about a third the size of the body. Nice to catch this and to see that there are fish on the move, but the fish that I'm after is actually two, possibly three times the length of this, and uh, maybe even 10 times the weight. But this is still a good fish and it appears my theory is right. The further I travel from the mouth of the river and civilization, the more monsters there are to find. Good sign, good sign, but I'm after something much bigger than that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.